What's up, YouTube? Top Shelf TTMs here with a TTM mail day for June the 10th, 2013. Uh, got some uh, stuff from the last couple days. One TTM in today. Actually, got two TTMs in today. One was a failure from Paul Molitor. I uh, sent him some stuff a few months ago. He actually refused it after a bunch of months, and I just put it right back in the mail uh, about two weeks ago. And it came back today in my envelope. He didn't refuse it this time, but it was unsigned. So I got him to open it, but he didn't sign it. Um, so we'll work on that. I did get some autographs here from a friend. Came down to visit and some stuff that he's had. And uh, he hooked me up with, I'll show these quick, Jimmy Key auto he had. Another Jimmy Key. David Huff, the certified Brad Lincoln. Mark Loretta. Casey McGee, Brett Butler, one of the Topps fan favorite autographs, Joaquin Soria, uh, I don't know how to say this guy's name, Tanner Rah Rahir, Rahir, I don't know, uh, it's a prospect for the Reds, it's like 19 years old, and then uh, the best out of the three, uh, out of the group is this uh, game jersey auto. Well, he knows I collect this, so I came up with this Andre Ethier one, so it's pretty cool. Uh, and then also did a, a trade here with uh, Aunt G. Jenna Anthony uh, in the Facebook group, also on YouTube. His link will be below, but I got this from him, Jordan Zimmerman, Triple Threads. That's pretty cool. My other buddy also hooked me up with a whole stack of game use stuff here. I'm not going to go through it all. There's a ton of it, um, but uh, I send out a lot of that TTM for players that do sign. All right, uh, also got a couple more balls in that I picked up from, uh, as I was doing a deal with a former player. I think that's pretty much done, but um, I still got a few um, that were out. One is an official American League ball signed by Al Kaline here. I'm sorry, it's not focusing. There we go. It's a couple little marks. There's actually one right in the K. Not too bad. And then there's a couple darker marks here. I always think about taking my magic erasure to them. I have gotten those out before, but I think I'll just leave them alone. They're not really affecting the signature. They've been signed for years and they're not that bad. So I'll leave that the way it is. And then the other one is, um, same thing. It's got some markings here. It's an official American league baseball signed by Bob Feller. Apparently he signed it in 1989. So a couple of nice hall of famers there. I've got a bunch of K-Line signatures, um, but I figured maybe what I'd do is I'd take the baseball and uh, mount it with that jersey I got a couple weeks ago or last week, put it all together. I thought that would be a, a pretty nice piece. All right, on to the TTM here. One of one, 209 days, autograph 346 on the year. Here's the address for those interested. I believe he states he charges $35 for cards. I sent 10 to get a game used auto of Nolan Ryan. I sent the game used card. I wanted to add that to the collection. There's the signature. He puts a hologram on everything he signs. Tamper proof hologram. He sends a certificate of authenticity with it, which was in the envelope, just basically stating that the hologram proves it. And then I guess they send you some sort of receipt and I know some people have been saying to me, oh, you're telling us that you're paying less than you actually are because he charges, oh, here's a receipt to prove it, 10 bucks. So I would send him a ball, but I already have one signed by him. I met him a couple years ago outside of Tropicana Field when the Rangers were in for the playoffs. Um, so um, I may send him a jersey if I can find one. That would obviously make a higher donation. But anyway, it's pretty good. Uh, three Hall of Famers in there and some other game used auto stuff. So pretty excited with that. So. Uh, that's it for today, and I'll uh, catch you guys later. See ya.